Hey guys, welcome back to Black Clover Mobile. In today's video, we're talking gear and I've got a little sort of progression guide that I've made on progressing your gear from maybe you're starting off with SRs, a couple URs from completing the campaign into having, you know, some plus 12 LR gear and being really well geared. And I want to talk about the progression flow of it. Uh, and over here, we're on the perspective of my new account, which is on day three of play. And we're at sort of, we're moving into phase two and I'll talk about the phases in a second second where I've gotten enough gear LR gear that I'm pretty comfortable with where I'm at and now I'm moving on to the next phase of gearing for my account so what I want to do first is let's jump over to this sort of flow chart I don't even know what you'd call this just some notes that I made uh, to go ahead and look at this so the phase one which is your you've just started at gear farming so on this account, on this account over here, yesterday I made a video going through my first two play days of play and how I got here. TLDR is uh, I rushed campaign because you can use mercenaries to basically clear the entire campaign. Then I rushed my main four characters in bond stages to bond level 10, make, got them all to level 80, made them all LR. And then because of the extra UR gear you get from the campaign, I was able to move straight into farming stage 15. So that is the basic progression to get to the stage of doing stage 15. For new accounts, it is a lot easier than it was at global launch because mercenaries are now there's more strong mercenaries for you to use so that is the first phase so that that is like getting to where this gear progression starts that's complete, completing campaign and getting into gear farming uh, i go through the team and stuff in the previous video if you want to go check that out and, and figure out more details like i said it's a big tail day version but phase one so you've started farming gear so that means you can do stage 15 uh, and you're starting to farm now make sure you do your daily four times stages for of stage 12 to get ur gear uh, i'll tldr this i made a whole video talking about it but if you don't know what i'm talking about essentially if we go to challenge and we go to normal challenges into dungeon you get five you get these five every day basically when it for five, four, three, two, you're going to do them on stage 12 because they increase the drop rate of high rarity gears, but it only resets if you get an LR. So you do four of those until you're down to one of five. So you do for the first four in stage 12. So you get a higher drop rate of UR gear. So it gives you extra UR gear for crafting and stuff. And then you go ahead and you do your last one on stage 15, which gives you a guaranteed LR gear. That's the, that's the quick version of that. So after we do that, uh, then the next thing, so we're going to be uh, farming stage 15 for LR gear with all of our stamina. That's what we do there during this phase. You do your four dailies and then all of your stamina just goes into uh, into farming stage 15 to try and get LR gear. But the other gear doesn't matter because we're going to use it for crafting, but still do your daily. Still use your stamina on your daily limited challenges. Anything else that you need to do with your stamina for the day, do that. That is still your priority, but all your excess stamina for farming goes into stage 15 for farming gear. Now, what I can say here, craft gear with Vanessa whilst farming stage 15. So over here, I'll show you what I do uh, when I do it and what I did on this account. So all, all the time in between farming, like I'll do like, you know, five, three runs, so like 15 runs and then come over here, create gear. Uh, and what I normally do is I aim for the attack pieces. I just always seem to get defense pieces drop for me. You can see I've got one there for my Mars. Uh, my Mars is pretty decently geared on defense, 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 defense. Like I, I, I get a good chunk of defense pieces just through drops. It's just the way my account go so i always try and craft for the attack and magic attack pieces that's what i'd normally craft for because if we look at characters and we'll quickly touch on builds for a second here uh essentially for your tank what i normally do is four four defense pieces three attack pieces uh then for your healer which is normally going to be charmy i just go magic attack i did put a defense on it to make her a bit more chunky but that's pretty much magic attack what we're looking for uh then on my yami who's my attacker i'm just going all out attack i do have one magic attack because he still benefits a little bit from it uh so that's sort of what i went with there and then my lotus Lotus can be argued that you can go for the four piece uh, uh, boosted speed set, but I don't have them. So I just went for all magic attack on my Lotus to give him a bit of extra damage. And that's sort of the set that I looked for. But like I said, because the majority, everything I'm looking for is attack or magic attack with the exception of my defense pieces on my Mars. That's why I always craft for the attack and magic attack. Now, if I was continuing to craft at this point, uh, my four, my three main characters, they, they all have their big slots, the, these slots uh, filled out with LRs. So maybe I'd do the box ones because that's guaranteed to get me a box piece and the box pieces are only going to be magic attack or attack. And that would be a good way to fill it out. But in general, once I get to this point, and like I said, that's why I craft for the uh, magic attack and attack. So then we go back here. 
phase two. This is when you're, once we move into phase two, this is when you've almost got full LR gear. If you look at my account again, like I said, I'm almost at full LR gear on my characters. We're pretty well set up. The one that matters least being on full LR, in my opinion, is the tank, because the tank's doing his job. He's already surviving. So you could honestly have a few less pieces of LR gear than what I have to go into the, into phase two, but this is where I was comfortable on my account. So in phase two, it's the same as phase one. Still do your daily um, stage 12 four times runs to get your higher UR gear drop for crafting. Uh, still do that and then still farm stage 15 for LR gear, still farm gear the whole time. Uh, obviously do your dailies, but the difference is here. Now we're gonna stop crafting gear and we're gonna start crafting accessories. So if we jump over to my account here, this is the phase I am currently in. You can see I've crafted, uh, an ex I've only crafted two accessories so far. So I've just shifted into this phase. I'm still burning all my stamina, uh, but now I am just crafting accessories and what I'm aiming to do is get myself about two accessories on each character of my main four you can do a bit more you can do a bit less it's up to you guys that's just sort of where I feel comfortable I'm not going to try and get three accessories on all characters because you're just doing random accessories so not only do you have to land the correct slot but you've also got to land the correct class and it's just too hard this is just something so I can keep farming some more gear hopefully get some upgrades but then also fill out some extra power slots on my accessories that's what I'm looking to do with this little bit of time here and that is during the phase two. And then the phase three um, is when you've got, like I said, about two accessories on your main characters. This is very lenient. You can choose how you want to play this, uh, but that's what I'm going to go for. Now I'm going to farm city district for upgrade stones. So this is the next phase that I am going to do. And so once I get accessories to a place I'm happy to, that is where I will shift and I will go over and I will farm a city district. Now, before we talk about city district, once you get into farming city district and you start getting upgrade zones, you will be so gold broke, uh, you'll broke, it's not funny because each time you're trying to attempt to upgrade from uh, eight to 12 in that range, it's like 7,000 Yule. And not to mention you'll probably be crafting some of these things. And to craft one of these, it costs you 10,000 Yule. So we're at uh, 2 million and 63,000. If I craft one of these, we're at 2 million and 53. It's 10,000 Yule per run. And because of the drop rates, you're going to be getting a lot more of these than you will of these. So you will be crafting. So Yule becomes a massive issue when you start upgrading gear. For that reason, I recommend going to the arena shop. Uh, and every day I buy out the, the upgrade stones just because th there's really nothing good in the arena shop. None of these things are good. You can get the frame if you want for you know that those purposes, for the um, aesthetic purposes. But the rest of it's shit. And then Yule is fantastic. 300,000 Yule per day is huge so make sure you do your rent tax and buy that and then i just buy the upgrade stones as well unless something better comes into the store that is what i'm going to continue to do but the yule is so important so important my other account is always broke because i've upgraded so much gear so getting that yule is amazing on a daily basis so that's just something i want to talk about but like i said when we look to phase three, that is when we are farming the city district. So let's bounce back over here and look at the city district. Now, I'm not at this stage yet. Obviously, I'm still at uh, phase two, which is farming gear and crafting my accessories. But once I do, I'm going to run this one all the way up to 15. Uh, and then that is where I'm going to start farming. And when you farm this, you'll get some of these uh, enhancement stones. You can use them if you want. I try and use them on better pieces of gear, but it's, you know, it, it's up to you on how you want to do it. I don't have a set strategy with those. I just try and use them on the better gear first and that's sort of what I looked to doing but then we have the upgrade stones and that's what you're really farming this for and that is where you're going to start getting your gear up to plus 12. Now with the upgrade stones that is definitely where you want to focus in on your better pieces of gear with the better substats to plus 12 them first in case you may end up going and farming depending on how far you want to go with upgrading. On my other account I got my main like my best pieces to plus 12 then I went and farmed other stuff which we'll talk about in another one and then I went back and farmed some gear so I mixed it around but ideally you want to farm those upgrade stones and upgrade first the good pieces of gear uh, for instance if we look at the the first one i'm upgrading it's this one here it's magic attack with attack percent which isn't the greatest but it's got magic attack percent and it's got crit damage percent uh which is pretty nice so this one's a pretty nice piece that's the first one i'm upgrading and that's the way you go and then you just upgrade them from there and this will really help you power up it will help you compete in arena it'll help you with farming other things and that is the main goal with your gear progression so Hopefully that helped. That is my gear guide. I know I didn't go through the absolute basics. I never made an absolute basics gear guide. I, I just left it too long. Uh, if you want me to do one of those, I can, but I feel like that, that ships sales and most people understand the basics of gear. And this is more the, the progression of upgrading your gearing on your characters. So 
that is going to be for this one, guys. As always, thanks for watching. Hope you have an awesome day, and I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Cheers.